Hey everyone, this is DR from Chai. So today we will design some funky UI based on physics. We won't use Adobe XD this time. We will use the full potential of Blender for it. Let's dive into it. So first clear everything by pressing A and then X. Add a plane by pressing Shift A. And then we will add a camera. We will set up the camera like we are viewing a web page. So we will rotate the plane on X axis and then we will scale it to the size of our camera. Now we need some text. So by pressing Shift A you can add text and then go into editing mode by pressing tab. Backspace and you can type whatever you want. So I will type the name of studio we are designing for. Let's call it YFS. That is your friendly studio. To change the font, on the right side on the text panel, you can choose whatever font you want to keep. Right now we will keep a single font for all our text. On numpad, when you press 0, you will get into the camera view. We will align it on horizontal center and on vertical center on the right side. By pressing shift D, you can duplicate it and on move, move anywhere where you want. So let's move it on the X axis and create navigation. Now for the font part, I will be importing the head of Mickey. Obviously I have made some changes into the head. Like I have deleted the eyes and I have made a cross over the head. Ok so let's give this all the material. You can go into viewport shading and then we will change our render engine to cycles and device as GPU. If you have GPU then it's ok or you can also do it on the CPU. Now in the wall properties, we will change our wall properties by adding the environment texture. To give that funky vibe, we will use a texture that is more vibrant in colors. Like it contains more vibrant colors such as blue, pink, orange, red. You can find these images on website like Unsplash or Pixel. Just type out the words like uh, Chinatown or Las Vegas where you get a perfect light night scene. They have more neon signs in it. So let's give the materials. On the background, create a new material and rename it as a plane. We will make it metallic with less roughness. To pop our text out, we will give every text an emission material. Head of the mickey will be a transparent material so we will use some glass. You can play with the settings like you want. It's just my personal preference. As you can see, the opposite side of our texture used in HDR is black so we won't get any reflections. We need to turn around the HDRI. To do that go into shading view and then here into wall settings. Now click on the image and then press N. It will pop out the property section and in texture mapping rotate that image on Z axis like this. Rotate it till you find some amazing textures that you can use. You can rotate it on X or Z axis anything. Ok so for now let's settle for this one. I will increase the subdivision of this mickey head. Always remember, if you are delivering the 3D model to the developer to embed that 3D model into the web, you have to decrease the poly count. Lower the poly count, higher the performance. Ok so it look cool already. But let's add some headline or a tagline. Again by pressing shift A, we will type out the headline for the company. By pressing shift A, we will add another text and then we will press tab to go into edit mode. Press R, X and then 90 to rotate it to 90 degree on the X axis. Now we will set the alignment to horizontal center and the vertical center. We will scale our heading and set it behind the mickey head. Bring it slightly over the Y axis. Let's add the same emission material. We only want pure text, we don't want any reflection as, as we are creating the background or text like in Figma. Ok that's good. So now we will add a ribbon. But this is itself a great design. You can configure it that uh, mickey head moves with the cursor or looking towards the cursor. It will also be a great design. 
we will add some physics into it. For that let's create a ribbon or cloth like simulation. To do that we will add a plane and we will stretch it out on the x axis. We will scale it down and then we will rotate it vertically. To do that press R, Y and then 90. Again we will press R, Z and 90 to get into the center view. Now press 1 on the num key. Let's move it to the 3D cursor side. Now set the origin to origin to 3D cursor. This will set the origin of our ribbon to the start of the plane. Let's add a new material. Select emissive material. And in the color, we will add an image texture. I have already created a simple image with text like your friendly studio that is YFS. Okay, so this is good, but it is mirrored image. So R, Z, and then 180 to rotate it. Go into tab mode. We have to create more subdivisions to make it a cloth. So add two or three subdivisions, and then we will add the edge loops by pressing Ctrl R. Now select the first row of vertices, then go to vertex panel and in vertex group assign a new group called pin. Now to make the cloth simulate, go into modify properties and then go to physics cloth. In cloth properties, scroll down and in the shape, set the pin group to the group of vertexes that we selected just now. Now we will press play to see the effect. Now we want to look that the start of this ribbon should follow our cursor. We will add an empty element, parent our ribbon to that empty element so that when we will move the element, the ribbon will follow it. Press shift A and then go to empty and get a sphere. Scale it down and we will match the origin to our ribbon. Now select the ribbon then press shift and then again select the empty. Press ctrl P to parent it. Select the keep transform. But when we will move empty, a ribbon will move with empty. So just like what we need. So now let's set the keyframes of our empty. Remember to set the end of our animation to 120 and the frame rate to 24 fps. This will create a 5 second loop. This will be our first frame. On location, right click and select insert keyframes. This will insert the keyframes. We will select the 4 keyframes. First on 1, then 30, 60, 90 and then 120. So on 30 we will go to about lane. So set the position by pressing G and get the empty on about. Don't worry if ribbon doesn't follow. It will follow up when we hit play. Again on location insert keyframes. Then on 60 we will get our empty just behind the Mickey head. Then on 90, we will slide it to the left side and again we will press insert keyframes and then on last frame, we will select it to go to YFS. To deflect this ribbon, we need to set a collision on the, on the Mickey head. So to do that, go to modifiers and add a collision modifier. We don't need to change the parameters of this collision. First let's go to viewport setting and see how it works. So we need to relocate and set another keyframe for empty because it is moving too fast. And then we'll smooth this ribbon by pressing shade smooth. Now let's hit play. To make a good effect more and then go to edit mode and we will subdivide it once more. Now let's play again. 
Okay, so this look good, right? You can obviously tweak something out if you don't like, but I think this is better right now. To render out, go to output and select your file path and, and then in file formats FFmpeg and in encoding select MPEG4 that is MP4. Rest in output quality we will change from medium quality to lossless and then we will hit render animation. So that's it for the video. If you like it then share it with your friends and comment down what you want next. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.